Hello YouTube, uh, it's Robert Alvo again for the last time on this game right today at least. Uh, well, not the last time on this game, I mean the last time on this game today uh, on this on this save file. Now I'm gonna after this play play the other file because how oh, I'm just having way too much fun with this. But anyways, I'm about to go get a special weapon that I absolutely love. Well, yeah, they were about and um yeah um and and also um I'm oh and oh by the way I'm playing Dying Life for the PlayStation 4 and I'm gonna say this now thank you for watching whoever watches leave a like wait comment and subscribe to this video and other videos and leave a like and thank you again for watching okay and I'm gonna go down here later I actually saw this in a YouTube. This is one of the legendary blueprints. Right there, I think it was. So, after, after I do this, which you have to hold down X on the place, you know, the X button on the PlayStation for uh, probably one or two minutes or something. And then you can actually pull the sword out. I mean the square button, sorry. Hold down the square button, not the X button, sorry. You'll see the yellow, you'll see the yellow circle fill up uh, really slow. But yeah, you have to hold this down for at least 120, I think they said. I don't know, but... I think that's uh, either two minutes, either one or two minutes, I forget. And, and doing this in between this mission, apparently they, apparently I saw another YouTube about that, like, if you do stuff during the first mission here, um, 
you know, the mention with Spike, then um, time actually freezes so you can actually run around and do other stuff. So this is a perfect opportunity for to get get this sword. And another thing, and another item I'm about to show you um, after this, and the item you get after this one. So, so basically, you get the sword plus a blueprint to make the sword yourself. To make the sword is well, actually, quite difficult, but ah. Uh, You'll, you'll get used to it. And there we go. And go up. And turn around. And that's, that's what the body does when, um, you pull the sword out. And this takes another minute or, uh, uh, this takes another minute or something to actually fully burn. But once it does that, but once it all the way goes, then um, a blueprint is in this wake. Right there. Uh, so this is a EXP Alibor Blueprint. <laughs> and so right now I'm about to get two more awesome weapons. One is a gun which unfortunately you can you can get and use I guess but it's but you need it for a for a side mission and the in the tower. Yeah, it's right here. Like I said. Okay. <coughs> so, um, next, next I'll, um, go all the way. Wait, where am I going? Wait, oh, yeah. All the way up here. But first, if you go and heal, you'll actually pick up a, a gun that he used to shoot his head. Shoot himself, I should say. But yeah, that, that's the only thing to actually um, loot and heal, the gun and the bullets. So now let's go all the way across town. There we go.
here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're crying, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Alright, I'm on it. Ah! I'll do that too. I mean, it's like White Dale. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Oh, whoops. Makes quick work. Oh, by the way, guys, um, this sword is 329 damage. So yeah. Oh man, I think it's too late for this guy. All right, finish it. Just don't let him suffer. Okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Just give me a second. Oops. Oh, I forgot you get tired before. And here we are. Now, now, everybody on YouTube said this goes well with the grapple, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> 